Good morning traders. This is a review of my market open day trading plan results so far after taking 70 out of 100 test trades. So the idea is to take this thing out to 100 trades and then we can determine whether or not this will be profitable in the long run. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet right now. We can look at the previous week, which is right here. Here's August 16th. That was Monday. Today is August 20th, that's Friday. I'm releasing this video on Sunday. So there was no trades for me to take on Monday. At the end of my spreadsheet, I have a notes section where I write down kind of what happened that day. So nothing met my criteria to take a trade on Monday. There's a, a, a note here for yesterday. If everything kind of goes as normal, then there's no reason to put a note. So that's why you see a lot of blank spaces there. Now, if you just look at glance at this spreadsheet and look at this week and you see all this red here, you probably think, man, this, there's no way that you were profitable that week. And I'm not really trading for profit right now. I'm test trading to collect data. So the P&L doesn't really match at all what the uh, potential profit of this plan is. What we are collecting to figure that out is win rate data, and then we are going to apply the same amount of risk, roughly the same amount of risk on every single trade that we take. And we're only going to trade for all or nothing 2R. That means that the profit target will always be two times the risk. So one winner will cancel out two losers. And our winners will always be worth two times more than our losers, theoretically. Sometimes they'll be worth a little bit more, a little bit less. And it should average out over the long term. So if you look at the uh, past week here, you see, let's count how many green trades we had. One, two, three green trades and one, two, three, four red trades. But the four red trades are only a loss of minus one R. So altogether, that's minus four R, and the green trades are a win of two R. So th three times two is six. So at six R up and minus four R down, we're up two R for the week. So that's still a positive result for the week, even though it was not an easy trading week. Uh, by any means. And the week before I was in trader rehab because I broke my plan on August 6th. So it was a good idea to take the week off and reflect what happened. What are the things that led up to that break? Because it didn't just happen that day. There were many things that led up to it. It was just kind of the day that everything came together, caused me to break my week. So last week was all about reflection and analysis and, and working on the plan so that it's easier to follow and harder to break. And that's where we're at right now. There was one more plan update uh, after trading on Thursday, but that wasn't because I broke the plan. That was because the trades I took on that day kind of exposed a weakness in the plan. So whenever I outline something in blue, that means there was a plan modification based on those those uh, plans. And that's important to keep track of because you can see I have this statistic down here, win rate without error. And I also added this today. We'll talk about that. This tells me that if I've been trading this plan as it's written right now since day one, so with all those weak points removed and errors and whatever, then my win rate would be 44.6%. That may sound low to you, but if you trade all or nothing 2R, a win rate of 40%, 40% will get you to 2R after 10 trades, 20R after 100 trades. 20 times your risk after 100 trades, after 1,000 trades, 200 times your risk. So depending on what your risk is, if you risk $10 per trade, after 1,000 trades, you could be up $2,000. If you're risking $100 per trade, after 1,000 trades, you could be up $20,000. So you get the idea. So 40% is a great win rate. And in fact, my win rate without error is even higher than that. So we'd be looking at even a higher R value. So currently the R value with all of the error trades with the actual win rate. So this is a reflection of all of the testing, you know, like the when I took trades that maybe I wasn't supposed to tra take. So there's a couple of error trades or that time that I broke my plan. And then there's things that um, trades that I took that I decided afterwards this should not be part of the plan. So with all of that stuff, my win rate is is still almost 40 percent. So that's really good. And the PL here is not really PL of the trading plan. This is just showing you the cost of the test. So after 70 trades, after 70 trades, I I've spent almost three dollars on all of these trades. So that's pretty cheap <laughs> to prove a system uh, profitable. If you just go out there and you start trading full position size and you don't know if what you're doing works or not, I guarantee you after 70 trades doing that, you're going to be red and you're going to be red a lot more than $3. So 
That's just a little side note there. And then uh, the average of the ideal and actual. So th th this is like these two numbers, the average of these two numbers. And that could be maybe more realistic of what my win rate will be in the long run. And this is the R value, the win rate. Well, not the win rate. This is the win rate after just taking three trades, because in the beginning I was taking more than that. And there's also an extra couple of trades on the day that I broke my plan. So um, if I remove those and I just take three trades, which is what I'm doing, uh, you know, ever since I changed the plan at the beginning. So you can see here at the very beginning, uh, the first week or two, I was taking uh, up to really up to 10 trades. I never went past six, but the, but I was allowed to take up to 10 trades. And then after that, being that they were all ending up red after three trades, I decided to stop doing that. And I stuck to that until the day that I broke my plan. Uh, which was like trade number 58 or something. So I stuck with it for quite a long time. And then down here, uh, let's see, when when was that? August 6th, I broke my plan. So I went all the way from the beginning, really, because I wasn't breaking the plan, taking those trades back then. That was part of the plan. I went from June 17th all the way to August 6th without breaking the plan. So that was a very good show of discipline. But the fact that I broke my plan shows that my discipline went out the window as soon as I broke my plan. So that's why I needed the trader rehab week to, you know, just, again, reflect, analyze, figure out what went wrong and how I could avoid breaking my plan in the future. So it's basically like a reset of your discipline, not the plan. We're still trading this plan. We're still trading this strategy. So all of the data is still cum cumulative. And um, let's see. So now we have our win rate after three trades. That's what I was getting at. And our R value, if we only took three trades from the very beginning, would be 18. So we would be up 18 times our risk right now instead of only up 11 times the risk. And our win rate, this is actual win rate. This is including errors and all kinds of stuff on the first trade is 36.7% basically. Sounds really low. 33% is break even. So this is still profitable. And then the win rate on the second trade right now is 50% uh, and on the third trade is 50% as well. So again, when your break even is 33%, that is an excellent number. Now, this is a really interesting data point that I added today. So it tells you right here that this is what my results would be if I traded the plan as it stands right now. So this data kind of shows you, okay, if I had the plan that I have right now from day one, these would be the results. And that's important to point out because I've been making modifications and tweaks to the plan. The overall idea behind the plan and the strategy is still the same, but we're just finding out like little weaknesses and things that uh, cause me to get into bad trades and we're removing those things. And if I would have uh, done that from day one, now this is, it seems like confirmation bias, this type of data, but it's not because it actually even removes some winning trades. I can show you that in just a second. But this is our win percentage of, if we only took three trades with this current plan, 44.64%, you can see it matches that number. So it doesn't you know, make some wild claim that uh, all of a sudden we're gonna be at 60%. And then uh, the R value of the first trade after only three trades is 22 R. Again, it goes up a little bit from here. So 22 times the risk, after it wouldn't be 70 trades, it would be a little less because this removes some trades, but that's a really good number. And again, maybe this is a little bit of an idealism, but probably going to be somewhere between these high and low, you know, somewhere between 11R and 22R in the real world. Um, and then the win rate of the first trade, again, removing things that do not meet the current plan is about 40%. That's where we want to be. The second trade, 55%. The third trade, 50%. So um, what I meant by this doesn't just make you look better. It actually removes some of my winning trades because yesterday I took a trade on DLO. I took three trades on DLO. The third trade won. And then after I took those trades, I realized, you know what? I don't want to be taking trades like this anymore. So I modified my plan. Um, the big thing that was wrong with DLO was that it didn't have a 200 MA line on the day, the daily chart, which means that it's a newer traded stock. It doesn't have as much history. And until I updated my plan yesterday, I used to allow myself to take trades on stocks like that as long as they were trending up in the long run on their chart. And that one was, but it doesn't mean as much when it doesn't have a 200 MA line because that means it doesn't have as much history. So that's what I mean. I removed those trades and that winning trade is not included in this data and there's a few winning trades that broke what the current plan is that are not included in this data so this is not just confirmation bias or trying to 
make this plan look better than it is. So anyway, that's pretty much it. This is the only other useful data that I'll let you read through. And if you have any questions about, you can uh, let me know in the comment section below. So that's where the plan is. If you want the plan, you can download the plan from my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash trading armor. And that has my plan, maybe without this most uh, recent update, but I can update that probably in the next few days and get that uploaded. But anyway, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you. As always, go into every single trade with a plan. Stick to that plan no matter what. Always take your stop losses, honor your profit target, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.